Hi everyone, and welcome to Billy's Test Kitchen. Today, we're doing something different. We're not actually cooking, but I'm gonna show you what to do after you're done cooking. And right now, I'm gonna show you how to clean a cast iron pan. So, a friend of mine texted me the other day, him and his wife were making burgers, and he texts me and says, hey Billy, how do you clean a cast iron pan? Do you use soap, do you not use soap, what's going on? Well, there are a couple easy steps, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So here we have our cast iron pan. I used it this morning, I made breakfast, and now we have this food residue that is stuck to the bottom. So how do we clean it? Well, there are two tools that you can use. One is this scraper, which is good for scraping food, and if you have large particles that you wanna just clean off, you can use this. The other tool you can use is a stainless steel scrubber. So you wanna make sure it's actually stainless steel and not some other metal, as this metal will rust and it won't be good for your cast iron pan. My preference between the two is to use the scrubber. It's a lot easier, it's quicker, and you're not fussing over constantly scraping any of the food particles. So you can play around with both. You can see which one is your preference, but this is my preference right here, the scrubber. So here we have our pan. It's gonna go ahead and use some water, get it wet. And all we're gonna do is scrub all of this off. No soap at all. That'll remove the seasoning from your cast iron. Go ahead and give this a quick rinse. Rinse off our scrubber as well. Get off the edges. And that's it. Here you have a clean cast iron pan. There's one more step, and we're gonna do that at the stove. So we're over at the stove, and you can see our cast iron pan is still wet. There's still water on here. And water is the enemy of cast iron. If you don't maintain it, if you leave water in it, it'll rust. And we're gonna avoid all of that with this next easy step. So we're gonna go ahead and dry off that excess water. If you want, you can use a towel, paper cloth, and get underneath as well. And I'm gonna remove my handle and make sure the handle is dry as well. Okay, handle is dry. I'll put this back on so I don't burn my hand. We're gonna go ahead and turn on our stove. And the next step is just to let the heat evaporate any water that might be on the pan itself. So we'll leave that on high for about a minute. And if there is, you can see it evaporating. Okay, looks pretty dry. So my next step and final step is just to use some avocado oil. We'll take a napkin and just spread that olive oil all around. So we're maintaining that non-stick layer we have of the cast iron pan that we've built by using it and maintaining it. So we'll go ahead and leave that on high for just about another minute. Make sure that oil gets reabsorbed back into the cast iron skillet and you're ready for the next use.